Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. The Nikon D850, not the D820, has been announced. We just had the announcement uh, yesterday, the 100th anniversary, the official date of the 100th anniversary. That was, what, July 25th? Um, and I've been going through the video and the information, what little information has been given to us, um, to see what I can glean from it, as I'm sure lots of you have. And uh, it's a little frustrating because as far as announcements go, this was kind of like um, a teaser for a movie that is so far out that they only give you a little bit because they haven't even fil finished filming the movie, so they can't tell you much about it. That's the, the feeling I came away with from the D850 here. So, I mean, it was interesting to see, but I was expecting more substance to this announcement. This this kind of really wasn't an announcement. I would say it was a teaser, like a movie teaser, uh, with not a lot of information in the teaser. What did we get out of the teaser, out of this announcement, if you want to call it an announcement? Um, a few things. First and foremost, obviously, it's going to be a D850, not a D820. I wasn't sure. I, I had, had listed previously when we were talking, I'd said it was probably going to be either one of the two, a D820 or a D850. Well, it is a D850, which when we think about it, makes sense because it fits in with the rest of the naming structure that's been recent. We've had the 7500, we've had the 500, um, and there's just, it seems to fit with where they're going with the fives lately. So um, doesn't really surprise me, doesn't bother me, but we have that clarification there, D850. What else can we get out of that very um, spec-less, if you will, no specs, no real information announcement. Um, when I was watching the video, what kind of hit me, what I what I thought maybe we could draw something from is Hercules rising. You see the part in the video where it says Hercules rising. And what we what what I took from that, I don't know what you guys took from it. Correct me or not correct me, but let me know what you guys think. But this is what I took from it. Uh, Hercules the idea of, you know, the great Olympian, the great champion of earth, you know, the, the, the one that the gods sent to, to help humanity or whatnot, you know, as the story goes, um, implying perhaps the champion, the best, the, the, the ultimate fighter, if, if you will. Uh, so is that, does that mean, uh, the highest resolution? Is that, does that, are we to glean from that, that we should expect the highest, like, was I right? with the 80 to 100 megapixel sensor that I've been talking about, that I've been wishing for. I know we've had rumors of a 46, but I've been saying I'd like to see an 80 to 100, and I do think it's possible. This makes me think, you know, if they're saying Hercules rising, well, it certainly can't be the champion if it comes out with less resolution than a 5DS or a 5DSR. I mean, it could in the sense of if you're not specifically talking about just resolution, but you would think if you're going to claim championship title, if you're going to say it's Hercules, I'm thinking it's got to be more. Whether that's a bit more, you know, whether that's 50 something, whether that's 60 or whether it's all the way to 80 to 100 like I was hoping for, I don't know. But that's what I kind of took from that is that it's implying, uh, you know, my mind went to the indication or the implication that being Hercules, it's it's the it's the greatest, you know, kind of like Muhammad Ali, I'm the greatest. Um, does that specifically mean resolution? One would think so because this is the high resolution body, of course. You know, the 810 is Nikon's high resolution body. When the 800 came out, it was beating everybody for high resolution. So I would expect to see the king of high resolution again. So that's kind of what I'm drawing from that. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments below. Do you think I've I've hit that right? Did you get that when you saw that? Is that what came into your mind? Or when you're hearing me relate that, that was what came into my mind, um, do you think, oh, yeah, that, that sounds right? Or are you thinking, no, I think it's something else. If it's something else, let me know. Let me know what you're thinking it is in the comments below. Um, universe of endless detail. That, again, ties into that to me. That's implying, I mean, endless detail comes in from ultimate resolution. That's why 4K is better than 1080. That's why the 36 megapixel sensor in the D810 was infinitely, infinitely better when you, you know, I was always happy with a 24 megapixel sensor in the D610. But then when you go to the 810, you're like, oh, wow, 
That is really nice. And so this implies to me that again, they're, 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 the innuendo, the implication here is that we're going to get a very high resolution sensor here. Something that's going to be the crowning glory. That's going to be the ultimate camera again. Same way that the 800 beat everything else at the time. I think the 850, I think what they're implying is what I'm hoping for. An 80 to 100 megapixel sensor. Something that's going to beat everything else. Time will tell. What do you think? Do you get that from Universe of Endless Detail? Or is there something else that it's, you know, came into your mind when you heard that? What did you get out of that? And then the other thing that was very interesting is the 8K time lapse. I'm not really sure that any other camera out there at the moment has an 8K time lapse. Uh, again, if I'm wrong on that, let me know in the comments below, but I, I'm not remembering another camera that has an 8K time lapse. So that's, that's interesting. Also might imply uh, by nature of it being 8K, you need to have a certain amount of megapixels. So maybe we, and then, and, and as well as factoring in whatever crop this camera is going to be, uh, in video mode, um, for an 8K time lapse, uh, perhaps that does tend to indicate a higher resolution sensor. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe I'm off base there. But these things all kind of came together for me to confirm in my mind that maybe I'm right. I hope I'm right with my, my, I'm not going to say predictions, but my um, what I hope for in the camera, as I stated in previous videos, is 80 to 100 megapixel sensor. I want to see it take the title. I want to see it take the crown again, uh, as the 800 had in its previous day. And I think it's entirely possible. What do you guys think? Let me know. What did you get out of watching this announcement? Um, did you wish, like, I mean, I obviously wish there was more information, but from what they did give us, Hercules Rising, Universe of Endless Detail, 8K time lapse. Are, were you thinking we're going to see a really high resolution body here? Let me know. Let me know in the comments below. Let me know what your thoughts were watching that. Um, just let me know in general what your thoughts were. Um, let's talk about it. Let's talk about the new D850 as we now know it's going to be named. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Stay tuned. Looking forward to hear what you guys have to say. I'm excited to see what this beast is about. So, uh, and hopefully we'll get more information soon. Uh, stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.